what is going on guys welcome back to another video of chat application development series in android studio in last video we designed a screen for all the three login screens and we have added id to all the views so in this video we will start coding in the activity java classes so let's get started let's close all these layouts and first we will go for login phone number activity and activity login phone number so here we have country code picker edit text one button and one progress bar we have to define all these in our activity so let's do that in activity first is country code picker give the name country code picker edit text will be our phone input button will be send otp button import it and progress bar will be progress bar let's give id of those country code picker equals to find view by id r dot id dot login country code phone input equals to find view by r dot id dot login mobile number send otp button equals to find view by id r dot id dot login send otp button and progress bar equals to find view by id r dot id dot progress bar first thing what we have to do is for this country code picker we have to link this edit text so let's do that country code picker dot register carrier number edit text it will be our edit text that is phone input so we have registered this now we have to set on click on send otp button so send otp button dot set on click listener i will use lambda service so so on click of this send OTP button, we will navigate the user to login OTP activity. So there we will send the OTP and user can input the OTP. So here first we will check either phone number is valid or not. So for that we have country code picker dot is valid phone number. So if it is valid, we can put it inside if statement. If it's valid or let's say if it's not valid. So if it is not valid, we will return error so phone input dot set error error will be phone number not valid and we will return from here so if it is valid it will go outside the if statement here we will navigate to another activity so to navigate we use intent 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 equals to new intent login phone number activity dot this comma we have to go to login OTP activity. So login OTP activity dot class. Now we have to pass phone number with this intent. Since we have got the phone number from this phone number edit text. So we have to pass that phone number to OTP activity so that we can send the OTP. So we can send data to another activity with the help of intent. So intent dot put extra. We have to pass the key that will be phone and phone number that will be come from country code picker dot get full phone number with plus we need plus also so get full phone number with plus and we will call the another activity that will be start activity intent and also this progress bar will be visible at a start so we will disable that progress bar progress bar dot set visibility will be gone we don't need progress bar in this activity in other activity we will be needing that so let's go to login otp activity and here let's try to print that phone number we got from another activity so here we can uh, make a string phone number so now phone number equals to so get intent we have method get intent dot get extras dot get a string so key we have passed phone so we will get phone number in this string let's print that with a toast dot make text application context phone number and toast length will be long dot show let's run and test everything is working or not so our application is running as you can see country code picker is here it is selected india you can select any country so please enter a mobile number if we enter invalid mobile number it will say phone number invalid if we enter right mobile number so let's select india from here and let's input right mobile number that will be 10 digit so let's click on send OTP this is valid mobile number so it has printed the mobile number in toast so our activity communication is also working fine 
so we have got the mobile number in this screen so from this screen we will use firebase authentication and send the otp to the user that we will do in next video if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye